All right, guys, we're live. <clears throat> what is it? Um, One thirty in the morning here. Okay, so I've been working on trying to secure Ultimate Allison since last week. Uh, I guess it was Friday. I believe I was down to 26,000 coins and started to seriously dig in on unloading all of my investments. Now, Allison had been sitting right about 51 to 59 million for a long time. As the market has slowly started to uh, shift, the numbers have been coming down. Once Lunar New Year was released, holy crap. Uh, price has just been dropping. Now, could it go lower? Yes, but right now it's at 35.5 million. Seven minutes left where I can bid. I'm definitely going to try to grab it. Yes, uh, question is, is this a surprise stream? Yeah, last minute thing. Just trying to throw something together and I've been working hard on uh, claiming this Allison. Six and a half minutes to see if I can get him. Um, I only got 9.6 million right now, but I have so much stuff. Uh, I've been selling this stuff since Saturday, so we're going to start claiming it. Just want to see what I've got. There's a Voland that on fishing ended up getting 1.18 million for an 80 rated base card. That is awesome. Now, I believe, if I'm guessing right, I have about 28 to 30 million. Um, in there. Oh, I'm getting the ultimate. I'm getting the ultimate. Uh, let's see. I don't have any bids yet. I haven't put any bids on it. I got about five minutes before I'm going to start bidding. I want to wait till the last possible second. Okay. I still have to claim all of this stuff, but I'll run through it real quick. But I've got some big numbers in here I wanted to take a look at. These Scogs, those were going for 63000 the other night. And I got a ton of them in that range Let's see another 60,000 76,000 for a 72 rated gold and all this was on fishing so let's see I've got some bigger numbers in here 400,000 for an 80 rated card now the plan is there's 400,000 for Zapata 985,000 for an 80 rated elite we're up to 13 million now look at that Zapata's were going for almost a million a million coins for an 80 rated base card that you can buy right now for 80,000. Now, the other thing is, is I'm trying to grab Ultimate Allison and then start saving my money. These Yaramuchis, these things were so cheap. So cheap. You can get these for 60 to 70,000 about a month ago. Now they were going for 300,000. 18 million now. We're getting there. And I haven't even started claiming the little stuff. 400,000. These weren't the numbers that I was hoping for for some of these. And this was all right before the shift. Right before the shift. Now that one I didn't make any money on. I paid 650 for those. Now here's where this marks when Lunar New Year went live. So this is now Monday. Was that when it happened? Monday? Yeah. Base Allison, I will train directly into uh, team or the ultimate nine hundred thousand for a card that I probably paid a million for. That was a, it was a hit. Same with Veghorst. I think I lost money on him, but at this point, I'm just trying to get the coins together needed. So a couple of these I took it. But when you're selling um, eighty rateds for a million a piece, you can take a hit on some of these things. Okay, like Neymar, 1.7 million for a 94 rated player of the month. But it was 1.7 million I needed towards this. There's 25,000s. Okay, so now we're getting into dumping cards, trying to get the money back up. Hey, we're almost there. We're getting close. See, these were a few that I was 125,000 for cards I paid 100 for. It's 25000 in profit. It's definitely not what I would normally do. But sometimes you just have to take a hit. Okay, so where are we at? How much time we got left? Three minutes and still no bids. That bid has been sitting there for a couple of hours. Let's 
So let's see. We'll just start doing. We went through them, so we're going to start claiming. Let's see how much we end up with. My guess is I'll be close to 40 million. Once I grab, and that's 40 million since last Friday when I had 26,000 coins. Just on just dumping silvers, golds, and investment elite stuff that I've been stockpiling and holding, looking for a shift in the market. Now the new plan, the new plan moving forward, is once I have ultimate Allison. And I've bumped his boost up because I think the boost that he has, I only have on level three. I need to put some money into the boost. So I would assume if I can get him for about 40 million, it'll take me 44, up oh, 42 million. Bam. Happy with that. Uh, is Allison going to be the most expensive card on your team? Yeah, probably. Well, no way. I paid 60, I paid 62 million for Van Dyke. And I don't know what he's at right now. He's probably not near that high. Minute 47. We'll give it a few more seconds. Let's just see how much Allison is, or uh, Van Dyke right now. Because I paid over $60 million. Okay, 62. He's still sitting at 62. He's almost extinct. So I, I've had that popped up and he's been like 40. I may have been pissed. But I paid, I think, 61 and change for him. And that card's unbelievable. So... Let's see where we're at. I've got the money. So I could just buy this one now at 41.8. I've got the money for it. I could do it. But I want to save as much as I possibly can. So we're going to throw a bid on here. We're just going to throw an arbitrary bid random numbers there you go I'm only missing the nine we're gonna wait it out just a few seconds this is nerve-wracking see I had a timer set to let me know when that bid was gonna go down now it's the refresh game I can only hope that he wasn't paying attention. Feel bad for whoever I stole that bid from because he's literally had that bid for hours. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? 35. 8 million for Ultimate Allison. Very, very happy with that. Still got 6.2 million to screw around with. So let's see what he does. Let's see the difference in the cards first. Okay. Diving, positioning. Big difference, 95 to 100 rated, and the boost is terrible. So let's go ahead and bump his boost first, so I can see what the comparison is. Which boost is he? I don't want to upgrade the wrong boost. Reflexes. It's a good boost too. Reflexes. The only thing it doesn't have is goalkeeper positioning, which I'd like to see, but we'll let it go. We'll take his uh, boost up to probably 14. I don't know how high I can take it. I think I've got enough to, to go to at least 15. And I might put some money into upgrading some other boost but right now the plan was to grab ultimate Allison and then stop putting any money whatsoever into any player I have any training everything and just hold with where I'm sitting and start buying players because right now 
is the best time to invest in everybody. Okay, so I do have enough to take him to level 15. That gives me 1.5 million. I'm going to be bringing tons of coins in here anyway with uh, Lunar New Year. Because Lunar New Year is all about coins, all about boost. I don't care about any of the players. So let's just go ahead and bump him to 15. Ooh, look at the nice purple card art. <sighs> okay. So now let's compare. Let's do a comparison now. So positioning's lower. Kicking's lower. I don't care about kicking. Penalties means nothing. Everything else is the same. Okay, so it's just goalkeeper positioning. And his positioning is 123 at 100. So let's see how much different this is. Once I swap him out, we'll swap him out in my just put my tip in squad. And my favorite 433 squad. Okay, so those are the only two I have right now. And let's go ahead and burn Allison into him. So that maxes out ultimate, and it cost me a single coin. But I have, holy shit, I probably, look at that, I had over, I probably, what is that, 1.2 million coins in, or no, 10.2 million uh, wrapped up in Allison. Wow. Uh, plus all of his XP. But I'm fine with that. That's a It's a, a necessary evil training keepers. Are you sure? I always panic a little bit. It's like, am I doing the right thing? Yeah. What would be your suggestion for a player who have 3 million to make coins? Right now, if you need coins right now, um, silvers are still blowing up. Uh, with all the elites being so down, down so low in price, um, I'm getting the most out of silvers right now. But elites are a long-term investment that is definitely going to uh, get the most money as you roll through. Oh, I'm so happy. That's what I've been waiting on. What other boost do I have to upgrade? Do I have the coins? I may as well do this. This takes marking to 14. I think that's the only one I have left that's under 14. Yeah, everybody's at least 14 now. Plus, I think box to box, is that what it was? Yeah. But that's 1.5. I don't have enough for it. Okay. Very happy. Finally did it. I got rid of a ton, a ton of investments in the process. But there you go. 100 rated, 15 boost, ultimate Allison in the squad. Now we got to see if he was worth all the hype. Is an investment worth making? So let's, the best way to do it is versus. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Can't really tell what happens in verses. Why does my lineup say just put my tip in? Because that's funny. We'll just play a versus match and see what happens with Allison. Who are we playing against? 108 rated with that crappy team of the week Pope. Yeah, I would I would feel bad about having him in there too. Okay, now the only problem with this is he doesn't get to showcase what Allison can do. All we're seeing is what I'm doing with minimal effort here. Let's 
and see how many he gives up. We can go back and look at the uh, after action game report and see. Or no, wait. You can only do that in League versus League, can't you? Offside. Oh, I'm screwing around. I better... Uh... Start paying attention or I'll lose for no reason. Head to head may at least let me see what he can do. I'll agree with that. Okay. Uh-oh. We got a couple of things popping up. Let's see what it is. Ooh, versus match requests. Okay, we're going to do head-to-head. -head. Let's see what head-to-head -head does. attempt I want to see what Allison could do we'll auto play Allison let's see get out of the way guys there you go take it nice PK? Oh, Sterling with the red card. Here you go. Highland, have at it. Cheers. Go. Let's see what Allison can do. Trying to get as many shots on him as we can. No, oh, I gave one up. But I do like how he's standing on his line and coming off when uh, he needs to. He's not so aggressive. He's not leaving his line immediately. Okay, go. Not going to stop you. Let's see if he leaves his line. Nope. He stayed stagnant. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think his special trait was... They were offensive special traits. They weren't defensive special traits. Okay. I want to let you in and I'm going to rush him this time. Just to see. Oh, offside. Okay, there's the half. They will rush if you want them to rush. Um, but a lot of times, depending upon what their stats say, they'll rush when I don't want them rushing. Some of the players, they'll leave their line immediately, constantly. 
Uh, that new Pope card leaves his aggressive stat is crazy high, which means he leaves the line all the time, and you can chip him constantly. Nice. That was the vision stat coming into play. Go ahead, go ahead. Man, Trent Alexander Arnold getting angry. Okay, now let's see what he does on a corner. Oh, that was, should have been a corner. We'll play it right up the middle. It's all you. Up. Oh, nice. Happy with that. We'll rush him again. No, nope. see, so he left his line. He gave up the long shot. Okay, what's the question? Why is Team of the Year Van Dyke's price not decreasing? It's just every season when you have players that don't have um, a lot of them in the market, you're not going to see a price decrease because he's sought after. I don't think he's going to decrease at all. In fact, that card, the ultimate card, may keep going up in price. Uh, yeah, and he is good. When attackers chip the ball, that is when the reflex attribute comes in play. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, if you're trying to chip a keeper, if he's left his line and he's got a high jumping stat, uh, vision, goalkeeper positioning, all that stuff comes into play. But there's also a slight difference between reflexes and reactions. In fact, I am just posted a video earlier tonight all about um, stats for goalkeepers. And what's important and what's not. That was smart. Was that punching stat coming through? When should I buy Team of the Year Van Dyke? If you're looking for base Van Dyke, um, I think he's going to probably see one of his lowest prices towards the end of the program, right before he goes extinct. Don't even chip, just finesse. Yeah, I, it depends on the player. Um, Courtois and Pope, finesse goes by him almost every time. Power against Courtois, he's gonna he's gonna tip, he's gonna get hands on it and push it wide. It just depends. If you're coming from the left side with your left wing, power seems to be more effective against Courtois um, than finesse. Uh, right wing, finesse usually works his way in. I don't know. Let's see, what do I got? A couple of matches. I'm going to hold on for a second. I want to see. I did have, right before this went, there was a card that was going up in price. I want to see if it's still up there. Yep, 64000 see if I can't dump a few. Wouldn't be bad. Get some money into the market. I still have a bunch of stuff listed. About a thousand cards listed on 24, but none of them's got any huge money. So I got down to a half a million, and uh, we'll see where we go. Still think Courtois is the best. I, I, I'm not. It depends. I mean, when he's maxed out at a hundred and he has high boost, he does become difficult. But once you know how to put uh, shots past him, it's usually not that bad. 
I spent all my coins to buy over 400 elites. I don't know if that was an idiot or a genius. I want that messy ultimate and De Jong, uh, De Jonga ultimate. The I if you've got 400 elites, hold on to them. They're going to go up in value, but you're going to have to wait until Lunar New Year's over. That's when we're going to start to see the next jump. I have a bunch of stuff listed now. I don't know how much. Let's see. How many elites do I have right now? 457 um, that I'm still holding after everything else I've sold. I'm going to hold on to them, but I'm going to start buying. That's what I'm doing. My whole focus is going to be on buying elites over the next few weeks. Look at this. Under 80,000. And I'll be buying everything. That's where all of my coins are going to be going here very, very soon. Every penny I grab from this new event is going to be buying players. I won't be selling anymore. I'll just be pulling money in from the events. So, that's it. What do you do when silver don't show a suggested price? Nothing. Nothing. You just... So, like, let's see right here. There's a... These are all showing cheap prices. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Buck out, but he's not showing any suggested price. So, nothing. We don't worry about it. That just means the bot's not buying right now. So, what I would normally do is if I was fishing, I would list... I've got four of them. I would list one on a 24-hour cycle at that. That's what I would do. Right there. And I would wait the 24 hours out. If someone, if the bot bought him for ten thousand, then I would check the suggested price. No different than I sold one of these cards a little bit ago for ten thousand that was being fished, and then check the price. And the you see the numbers are going up and down. So these are cards I paid eight hundred coins for, and now I'm just dumping them. So let's see. Did any of them sell? Yeah, there you go. See? That's it. And, you know, yesterday he was... Actually, I've had these cards for weeks, and they just haven't been selling. They've been sitting there, and then all of a sudden, they start moving. So there. Now I'm back up to 218,000. So what do we do? We buy more leads. Now I'm not just buying base. I'll buy anything. Right now, at 80,000 coins, you can't go wrong. I'm just looking for a variety. And right now, I'm just looking for players that I haven't seen, I don't have. Take that Zapata. One more. At 80,000 coins, that's a good place to start. I mean, I would, be, I would pay up to 100,000 for these things and not think twice about it. I wonder how low I can go. There might be some lunar ones in there in the 65,000 range right now. Look at that. 65,000. Look at the search coming up. Yeah, it's time to buy elites. Yep, that's when you need it. Oh, if Stu likes 900 coins in your market, it happens. Uh, it's I, I Our league has a WhatsApp. You know, group messaging for the whole league, and constantly, uh, someone will post in there like, "Right now, you know, Jim Bob Joey Jeff is uh, going for 1.1 million his 80 rated base card," and there's 30 people in our league, and six of them are in that market, and they're all selling that elite that they paid 80 thousand for. They're getting a million a piece out of them. And the rest of us are just sitting there twiddling our thumbs, getting pissed. And then three days later, somebody else will say, hey, guess what? Zapata's going for $1.3 in my market. And there'll be six or seven else of us that are in the other market 
and we're all excited and everybody else is twiddling their thumbs. So there's three major international markets, depending upon what, which market you're in. Uh, what time is it in Ohio? It is now 1.59 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Just stayed up just to try to grab this. So three major markets for buying and or for you know that you can be involved in to where you see the market you can figure out who's in your market you can see across you can bid against each other um it's just kind of random you know which market you're in so and it sucks when you got somebody else selling big coins and they're not in your market but when you do figure it out it does work what's the price of team of the year van dyke in your market let's see what is he, 95 rated? He's 95 for base. 16 million. Not ultimate, but 16 million for base. So between 16 and 17 million. Yeah, in that range. Ultimate though. I think there was, when I looked earlier, there was only one. Yeah, 62 million. Do all markets behave the same or one is better than others? Um, they pretty much behave the exact same. Uh, sometimes one market may have uh, specific cards that are being pushed in one direction. Um, and then the other markets a day or two behind sometimes they're hours behind so if someone's selling a specific player in the morning in one market um, we'll see that in our in our league in in our market chat someone will have somebody pop up like let's say they've got a just um, let's say Diego Costa is going for 80,000 in two of the markets and then the one guy's in one market and he's getting 900,000 for him the rest of us will keep checking and sometimes that price flux shifts over to the other markets and we'll see that price go up to five six hundred thousand within six to eight hours sometimes you know it never does but sometimes uh, the other market activity is a precursor for what's going to happen in yours and if you see somebody getting a ton of money in their market on a card so like right now uh, Stulak and mine was going for fifty thousand if you can get him for 800 coins in your market, buy 10 of them. It's 800 coins, and keep an eye on him. Throw one up. Try to fish him for 10,000 coins. If the market, if the bot buys it, then you can move it up. It doesn't always work though. So, um, I think that's it. I got a little bit of stuff before I need to actually get caught up on some sleep. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. Very excited. Got my ultimate van or ultimate Allison. I'm done now. The only thing I need to do is claim Trent Alexander Arnold on the last day of Team of the Year, and that will get swapped out. And then I can burn that Alexander Arnold into my Milner, which will jump me up to 115. And then no more money gets put into this. Hey, they're selling. See, that's a good way to end it. There you go. The 55,000 ones were sold. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Do I have any more of those? Nope, they're all gone. But I gotta buy a few elites first. See, who haven't I bought? Just spreading it around a bit. Take like Gotzi. Two more. Let's do this. Let's see. Not that I'm suggesting you should do this, but I'm just curious if it's because all I'm seeing is midfield and attack in that range. I wonder if Yeah, it looks like just midfield and attack in that range. And I'm not above I'll spend up to a hundred thousand on elites. 
spend a little bit more. I just want to grab a defender just to kind of spread my investments out a little bit. Okay, that's a good place to end it. Let's see. Can you change markets? In essence, if you disconnect from the market, if you have nothing um, tying you to the market, you have nothing bid on, nothing listed, everything, it's when it's all, you don't have anything connected to the market, if you shut your phone down, disconnect, um, you can restart and reconnect after a period of time and it will reconnect to the market when you connect to your Facebook account and you can jump markets. But that's it. And we've seen that, I mean, we've, we've actually done it on a, in live stream in the past, but it does, it's tough. And you, like for me, I can't do it because I have more, I have more than 1,100 players. I have probably between 2,500 and 3,000 players. And the only way you can do it is if you get your player count down within a range where you have nothing connecting you to the current market can't have any players in you can't have any bids out you can't have anything but there's really no advantage to jumping markets because the time it takes you to reconnect break your connection to to the network reestablish a new connection and reconnect to your account through Facebook um, that whole process you know staying disconnected for an hour or more and then coming back in you're not going to gain the advantage of a player that was selling in a different market just wait years out. You're going to have other opportunities in your market. Uh, sometimes elites bump up when I'm asleep. Yeah, that's why I always sell on a 24-hour uh, time frame, and you constantly check it. Um, I usually am never farther away than two hours from the market. So, like, I'll check. Two hours later, I check again just to see if anything's sold so I have a chance to grab it. But then again, I don't sleep, so uh, it's... Two, three hours at most is from the time I check it to the next time I check it. Now, when will I sell elites? I sell elites all the time, no matter what, as long as I can get a, as long as I'm doubling what I have in them, I'll sell them. Uh, but right now, the it's time to buy, uh, not it's time to sell. Um, if I have to guess, I would say within three weeks after Lunar New Year is, I'm assuming the only thing we're going to have is maybe a UCL tournament, something to do with Champions League into the next round. And that's kind of uh, where we'll be. Okay, all you need for Zidane is the FIFA Masters. Any tips? <laughs> yeah, the only thing you kind of can do is uh, for head-to-head, -head, I auto-played all the way to about a million eighty. So like just like two matches short and then played to bump me over. I couldn't I couldn't auto play all the way to masters for either of them. Uh, I got close and then I actually had to bump it over the edge for both. But it's it, it just when it seems impossible, it just uh, it just does. Okay. I listed a so card for six hundred K and it got sold. How? Because there wasn't any other cards listed in that range in the market the bot has a queue that has to buy the lowest rated card ever on a specific time scale based on the cards drop rate rarity and queue and it just you hit it that's what fishing is yeah uh masters you to complete zidane you can either do it in versus or masters it doesn't matter which one you do but um for me uh, I, actually, for Zidane, I had versus was easier for me. That's where I hit. Um, that was where I hit Masters first. Since then, I've done both. I don't have the quests are all gone. I, I, I've hit it in both, but uh, it was definitely easier for me to do versus. Yeah, I think I do. Where was he at? I may have one. 
if I haven't already sold it. Those are, yeah, there's one. It's non premium. It's not showing a suggested price, though. Why was he uh, going high coins earlier? Don't see anything on him. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. I just wanted to uh, claim all that stuff and see what happened. Um, and I think that's about it for now. I know there's some match requests coming in, but uh, I've got a uh, this week's episode of The Outsider to watch before I actually try to get some much-needed sleep before the morning. All right, guys, thanks. I'll add this to YouTube and then pay attention. The new video coming out on YouTube is all about goalkeepers and stats and what's important and what's not as much. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos. Thanks for watching. Maybe check out one of these other videos next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Visit my site, finallyhesleeps.com, for daily posts about FIFA Mobile and other various brain vomit. Plus, if you get really bored, you can find merchandise and my latest comedy album, Life Before the Internet, at the links below. Like, down at the bottom, those links.